Now things seem to be running a bit smoother, as you will notice. My FPS is maintaining about a 30. Metric updates are, um, you know, kind of fluctuating, but not too much. Uh, there has been several wisps to pop up um, within this biome. I've also uh, gone out, done a little bit of killing, trying to gather some resources uh, after I got back in to test to see how well you know the FPS will be holding and everything else. Um, plus, you know, what I mean by resource gathering is, you know, I went around the local area trying to find some resources, so forth, so on, in caves and everything else. Well, uh, as you can see, you know, I have done quite a bit of resource gathering. I also killed some wisps, so I got some ethereal essences. I've also, you know, found, you know, a few uh, little, basically, dungeons. It's the ones that are underneath the great wood trees. Just two of them. Well, uh, two or three, really. And I also made this, a filing cabinet for the mana beans. Now, I do have two beans in here that have known aspects to me, which is the Ordo and the Perdido. The rest of these are unknown aspects, even though that those two seem to be the same, but they're not. Uh, I do have a full Tinker's basically the full tinkers construct uh, section here uh, which I was going to go ahead and make some paper so that we can get the uh, tool binding that I'm wanting to get which as you can see I've already made two pieces of my uh, setup there and uh, let's see We'll throw the paper back in there, and let's see, uh, I'm trying to remember what I need to do as far as making a tool binding. Uh, let's see if there's a way to make a bone tool binding. If not, then, uh, let's see, nope. No way to make a bone tool binding, I don't think, unless I have to make the pattern. Which means I have to go out and collect some more uh, resources. That's fine. Not too terribly worried about that, because we'll just go ahead and use a stick as soon as I can relocate them. Here we go. I'll just use a stick as a tool binding. Don't really get us that good of stuff, but, you know, as you see, our modifiers remaining. R4. So, you know, we can, you know, do a bit of stuff. And we'll go first TC pick. Because this is our first Tinker's Construct pick. You know, as you uh, would have noticed, if I go back to here, the mining level is iron. Mining speed is 4. You know, very slow. Not to worry about it. Sorry about that. I was drinking on some coffee. Had a little bit of a dry mouth. Um, now, we're going to go out. And, uh... We're going to go... Eh, I'd say over in here. And dig around in that little area. But we're going to get there pretty quick because, as you can see, I've, you know, been kind of killing some mobs. I do have a bat form, so we're going to turn into the bat. Actually, we don't even need to remove that. We can leave that be like that. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab out our iron pick. Just as a uh, little okay. You know, we have something to you know, take care of us here, just in case we need it, and we're also going to grab out our bow, which I made off camera, and now let's see, we want to go there, which is, I'm going to label it like that, and right there's where we're going to go. 
Okay. So we're going to fly high and over. And see right there is a wisp. <laughs> One of the wisps that's spawned in. Nope. About past it. See right here's where uh, one of the trees was that I took out the little uh, spawner underneath and the other one was like over there uh, good ways alright now let's see what do I want I want to at least try to find some redstone okay as you can tell we do have full hunger um, I did not bring any torches so I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible and uh, find some resources and I'll come back out and I'll start the recording right back here in the same spot so see you then okay I'm back and uh, as you can tell I've been mining for a while if I show you my inventory I also found a uh, skeleton spawner down there uh, basically a dungeon and that's where I found the builders wand and all this other good stuff that you see there except for the essence or berry bush and the uh, essence or berries uh, but yeah that was like way down in there I came back up here and there were several mobs waiting on me just to return uh, but I didn't necessarily come out back here I managed to well let's say mine my way out over here well as soon as I can get up there eh up here at the river uh... trying to... ow! okay I've got hunger issues uh... but yeah right out in here is uh... where I came out so let's uh... get our map back and uh... oh crap um... hmm I'm thinking my base was over here or it could have been over here I can't quite remember but I do know it was in line pretty much with uh... well crap where'd my other marker go? I'm losing markers no I cannot be losing markers no uh uh uh-uh no 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 how am I losing these markers somebody please tell me how I'm losing these markers because I had one right there <laughs> that's just not cool well right here was this and I know kind of in that direction we uh, had our house so I'm thinking it's uh, somewhere in here so I have to fly around in there and find it. I mean that is a eerie biome and I'm thinking actually that it was like over here now somewhere is like in here yeah it was it was over in here it was over here so uh, I'm going to head in a little bit of that direction <laughs> hopefully I don't die before I get there because that's gonna be a lot of stuff to pick up alright let's uh slow down here so that everything can come into view yes here we are we're at the base <laughs> alright now if somebody knows how to fix that issue to where I'm losing the points those uh, little points on my map please let me know post in the comments below on how to fix that I would be much appreciative of it and I mean much appreciative like literally uh, I, I'll i give you a shout out in my next video and I'm serious about that I will alright now see I've got two of those Lua I, IDE you know by gravity source so forth so on and then we got Gold Runner no idea what those are about I'm gonna have to make a computer just to uh read those along with the floppy drive oh, let's see that's an ore that can go in there builders wand 
can go in there and my tools uh, okay and mm, stencil Let's go ahead and make a uh, grind grinder. That way I can go ahead and double my ores, not really have to worry about much of space. And we'll be good to go. And as far as that goes, let's go ahead and let these uh, three cobblestone cook up and I'll be back as soon as uh, everything's ready for me to make a grinder or a grindstone. So, see you then. Alrighty, and I'm back. And uh, we're ready to go ahead and make a grindstone. So, let's go ahead and get this stuff into place. And there we are, our grindstone. Now, uh, let's see, where do I want to put it? Um. Right there, I'll have to do. And up oh, and boom. And now we're going to put in our iron. Tell you what. <laughs> we're just going to sit here and we're going to spin this thing. But first things first, what I could do. Is I could go ahead and use those two ore uh, berries to give me a little bit more experience. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. <laughs> now I got a little bit more free room. Now you're probably thinking okay why are you starting out this route why not I mean you got enough stuff to go ahead and make a uh, macerator a uh, pulverizer whatever you want to call it a uh, you know start out with thermal expansion well no I'd rather do it this way you know everybody else does Thermal expansion, thom craft, starting out. Some people do mine factory reloaded and everything else. You know, just to start in with an automation. Not me. First thing I start off with generally is Tinker's Construct. And, you know, this little setup here. Makes it a whole lot easier on me. I can double my ores just as fast as anyone else it may take me actually a little bit longer but I'm able to double certain ores that most other people can't without having to rely back on to the way I generally start so it's one of those things and yes you probably just heard my cat meowing at me and we're gonna just sit here and spin this so I'll come back as soon as I get done spinning this and get stuff on the smelt. So see you then. Okay, and I'm back. And as you can see, I'm just now putting the iron dust in here that we had in here. So, you know, we got 64. So we'll have 64 iron ingots. Okay. Let's see. There's more aluminum. Got some silver, got some lead, got some more gravel. I just need to make an uh, ore's chest, is what I need to do. Mm. Let's see, this is. Tell you what. Uh, I can. I can't really put any of those in there because it's all magic 
beans all same of the uh, ID there so let's see do I have yeah I got stuff to make a pick there we go and I bet you're thinking okay why don't you have a farm on the go yet well the whole reason why I don't have a farm on the go yet per se is because of the simple fact that I got other things I gotta take care of before I can start building a farm let's see these essences can go or the uh, stuff there and the ore berries can go in there as well let's go ahead and A to Z that Let's see, those are Ars Magicas, if I remember correctly. That is uh, Metallurgy. Cinnabar is also there. Let's see. There we go. Mm, let's see, those two as well. ores there. Bet you're wondering how I've got the blaze powder. Um, over in the desert I came across those uh, little fire flower things. Um, I forget what they're called. But, uh, you know, when you beat those, or pick those uh, from the ground, they'll uh, give you blaze powder. So, came across a total of eight of them, so yeah, that's how that's there. Alright, so let's see. I kind of want to make some more arrows. Because you see our bow there is uh, kind of getting lonely. <laughs> Go ahead and A to Z all this again. And let's check on the furnace here. Yeah, let's see, we got 21 iron ingots so far. We could actually go ahead and make ourselves a uh, full suit of iron armor, which we'll go ahead and do. After we get uh, one more iron ingot there will be all right boom there we go and now we have a full suit there we go now you see a full suit there we're good to go and let's see there's our dirt there we go all right now uh, I could possibly go ahead and look at making a smeltery, which is what I was thinking about doing uh, down near a lava pit pool that I found, which is not too far from uh, the base. But that will wait for the next recording session. I'm going to go ahead and call it an end to this uh, set here. Uh, I really don't know how many episodes I've recorded, but I've got more than enough. So um, until next recording session... I'm going to have to end last call. So, I'm going to ask you to please leave so I can close and lock the doors behind you and give you a fine farewell. When it goes deep, go deeper. And thank you for watching. Bye.